Well, tonight with football games kicking off a new season, it's an exciting time, but it's coming about an hour later than usual. That's because it's one of the hottest days this year, and as THV 11's Brooke Buckner shows us, schools in the area are taking the heat seriously. Ice, ice, and more ice. That seems to be the word of the day for coaches and players gearing up for Friday night's football games. This is just kind of unusual. I mean, it's always low 90s, but you know, this is a little bit, a little bit more intense. Catholic High School's athletic director Tim Ezai says because of the dangerous heat, they're going to take more breaks at tonight's game against North Little Rock. And like all games being played tonight, the start time is pushed back until 8 o'clock. We're going to add uh, each quarter. They're going to have a mandatory break in the middle of the quarter and uh, take some extra water there. And, and I'm sure we'll have more water and ice on the sidelines. Their training strap over there is great. The team will also have a shorter pregame. Ezai says usually it lasts an hour and a half, but they're going to keep it under an hour now. We'll get them out there and get them off the field pretty quick. Over in Maumelle, they're taking similar precautions. We'll actually have double the emergency personnel we normally do. Um, with it, it, Anticipating a large crowd, that's, that's smart to do anyway. But with this heat, you know, we want to make sure we're prepared for it. Maumelle High School's athletic director, Kirk Horton, says they're adding extra breaks too. We'll have two per quarter or more if necessary. And just in case the heat does get the best of someone, they have ice tubs ready. Athletic trainer Dylan Thompson says it usually doesn't get to that point, but they want to be prepared. He's also ready to help any players who may experience heat cramps. We give them some water and we stretch out the cramps, massage it out. Thompson says the players should be acclimated to the heat after practicing this week although they only did it during the cooler part of the day. Hopefully they'll be more responsible with their bodies and their nutrition and their hydration. So um, I'm proud of our kids this year for the most part. In Pulaski County, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. And even if you aren't playing and just going to support your favorite team tonight, they recommend drinking lots of water too. According to Johnson County Westside Superintendent, four players ended up at the hospital last night to receive fluids for dehydration and overheating. Those players are all okay, but the high school team opted out of playing tonight to be safe. 